Alrighty, here we are underway, leaving uh, Caicos. We're still actually in the shallow area here of the bay. Probably been underway about an hour and a half, hour, 45 minutes. And that little beeping sound in the background is the depth alarm because it's really, we're quite shallow. And we're going out with a low tide, which is also adding to the complication. But we're still doing good. Adam's the man at the wheel. He's been doing a great job. I just thought I'd take the time to show some of this really beautiful water that we're going through and what looks to me like a nice little thunderhead over here, which also looks really nice. The texture of all this is just beautiful. It's hard to describe. So in about two hours, we should be getting out into the open ocean and continuing our journey up as we go north towards the Bahamas. Alrighty, I'm gonna go up in the bow and get some shots from up there. So, right. Alrighty, a shot from the bow as we go through this water. And I'm not sure if this is gonna show up on the video, but you can actually see the bottom down there as we're going over it. We're gonna see some of this when we go through the Bahamas. <clears throat> Same thing. I'm going to move around here, so this is going to jiggle, <clears throat> get a better shot of the boat as she moves along in the water, which is always a cool picture. Making way. Okay, this is video proof that this boat does in fact have sails. And actually sails and just doesn't motor all the time. So here we are. We left the Caicos area about an hour and a half ago and we're out here popping along doing about seven knots and uh, got a nice breeze blowing and it's just perfect sailing day. Over here, the skipper of the boat is hunched over doing something. Something really important. Wave at the people. Okay. radar dome mounted on it.
every once in a while we have to get it back on course. The, the auto helm has a hard time steering the boat when so we're out here peeled over. Hey there, Captain. Hi. Captain Darrell. All right, sailing fans, we'll be back a little later. Hi. So today, in honor of our first day of actually sailing, we flew in a chef straight from Milan to prepare a fabulous Italian meal, a penne pasta, an Italian sausage, and vino. The cook did a fantastic job. Cook, win there. Okay, cheers. cheers. Great dinner. Come on, Adam. Annie it up, baby. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Annie it up. wind has died on us a little bit right now, so we're waiting for it to pick back up. Okay, it's been a few days since we've talked, but uh, right now we're entering Highborn Cut. And uh, this is the top of the Exuma chain. We're going to go through here in a little while. Uh, we're going to go up where it's deep water here, it's kind of shallow water. There's going to be a bank right across. And we're going to go to uh, another area of water called Tongue of the Ocean and head north and continue our trip towards Fort Lauderdale. video as we approach the highborn cut right there in front of us. And it's a pretty straightforward approach and the cut itself has deep water in it. So this boat that we're on right here draws about seven and a half feet. So we should have uh, no problem making it through to the other side. that we keep talking about and uh, give you a little bit of a view of it.
those little islands which look like it'd be kind of cool to go out and explore some of this. If you ever had time to stop somewhere. white sand. friend described this when they were here about how this rivaled some of the watercolors that their granddaughters had and I can see what she was talking about. It's just incredible the beauty of those. 